Okay, so Ravi, Ravi, let's proceed ahead with your technical snap for strength of material, and uh, you are going for Jammu and Kashmir Public Service Commission Assistant Engineer interview, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, can you uh, define what is the meaning of strength, Ravi? Uh, so strength is actually uh, the uh, energy which a material can absorb uh, uh, before it fails. Hmm. So how do you define the failure? Uh, so failure we can define when a material loses its ability to resist against external loading. Hmm. You know what is stress strain diagram? Yes, sir. Can you draw stress strain diagram for mild steel? Yes, I can draw. Also, I can show it. Actually. Yeah. No. Uh, tell the point. Is this for mild steel? Yes, sir. Hmm. So, can you tell me the necking region here? Necking region, sir. The points A and B, I'll, uh, I think that are necking region. And which one is strain hardening region? Uh, so strain hardening region, uh, just before uh, necking start, uh, it is uh, uh, after the lower yield point. Can you show strain hardening region? So the uh, the I have highlighted the strain hardening region. Here, here. Why it is called strain hardening? Uh, so the uh, uh, it is called strain hardening because the material gets uh, temporarily hard before its failure. Its strength increases? Yes, sir. But is it shown that strength is increasing? Uh, no, sir. Not in the stress strain diagram that I've made. Mm. So which is the failure point on this uh, stress strain diagram as per you? So the point B. This is a failure point, huh? Yes, sir. So, what is the graph beyond failure point? Uh, sir, it is called a uh, graph beyond point. There comes the point of ultimate strength, sir, where the fracture actually takes place. Mm -hmm. Okay, and which one is the resilience? Where is the how can you show resilience on graph? Uh, sir, resilience actually the uh, area under the curve uh, up to proportional uh, elastic limit, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. So now, can you tell me what kind of stresses do you have in the material? Uh, sir, there are uh, tensile stresses, compressive stresses also there in the material. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Only two? Uh, what about shear stresses? Yes, sir. A shear stresses are also there in the material. How can you induce shear stress in a component? Uh, so we can induce shear stress by applying a uh, torque on the component by twisting it on uh, twisting it about a certain axis have you heard about complementary shear stresses yes sir what are they uh, so complementary shear stresses are uh, uh, the stresses which are induced on the per uh, perpendicular faces uh, mm -hmm. to uh, to make net moment uh, zero mm -hmm. okay so uh, you must be knowing about bending equation Yes, sir. Simple bending equation. Yes, sir. Can you give me an example of pure bending or simple bending? Example of pure bending, sir. On a beam. On a beam, pure bending. Uh, sir, uh, example should be a moment applied on a fixed end of a cantilever beam. Uh, on a free end of the cantilever beam. So can you tell me now what are the assumptions behind simple bending equation? Uh, so the assumption is a material is homogeneous and isotropic. Mm -hmm. uh, the plane, uh, the planes remain straight. Uh, the planes remain at equal distance after bending. Uh, about neutral axis, the uh, 
the arc uh, which is formed is uh, bent about the neutral axis and how do you define neutral axis uh so neutral axis once again Uh, so neutral axis is the region where bending stress is zero. Mm. What is the significance of neutral axis? So uh, uh, significance of neutral axis. Uh, sorry, sir. I I can't I can't recall it right now. Mm. Okay, Rakti, let me give the feedback. Rakti, yes, entire stress strain diagram was wrongly explained. Yes, I thought. So, Italy. if you don't know something, uh, don't bluff at all because that goes very, very against. Yes, sir. Strain hardening was wrong, failure point was wrong, you know, necking was wrong, even stress strain diagram, mild steel was wrong. And you are not to bluff anything in the interview. Now, let me yes, advise sir. you uh, you're a mechanical engineer, right? Yes, sir. So, you need to listen certain marathon videos, start from there, and yes, listen sir. it two to three times. With speed 1.5 or 2. They are your PD education channel only, these videos. And uh, you start with strength of material, fluid mechanics, strength okay, of sorry. material, these three you start with. Watch these again and again. 99% questions will come from these marathon videos only. And if okay, some sorry. question comes beyond that, you say no. But your interview will be cleared only on the basis of this. You can clear the interview. Nothing to worry. Okay, sir. Do that, and I'm very sure you will. Uh, get a good score in that. So start with one one subject. If you yes, want strength of material, start with strength of material. Revise it well and then come for technical snap, right? Yes. Okay. Sir.